Unit 2, Lesson 14, Solving Equivalent Ratio Problems. A chef is making pickles. He needs 15 gallons of vinegar. The store sells 2 gallons of vinegar for $3 and allows customers to buy any amount of vinegar. Decide whether each of the following ratios correctly represents the price of vinegar. He needs 15 gallons of vinegar. Two gallons of vinegar is $3. And if two gallons of vinegar is $3, then one gallon of vinegar would be $1.50. A. Four gallons to $3. No, that's not true because we know it's two gallons to $3. B. One gallon to a dollar fifty. Yep, we know that's true. C. Thirty gallons to forty-five dollars. Well, let's multiply one times thirty to make thirty gallons. And then let's multiply a dollar fifty times thirty to see if it gives us forty-five. Zero times zero is zero. Five times zero is zero. One times zero is zero. Placeholder. Zero times three is zero. Five times three is fifteen. One times three plus one is four. So there's the thirty to forty-five. So we know that's true. So D, $2 to 30 gallons. No, that's not even going to be close. If it's $1.50 per gallon, $1.50 for one gallon, then there's no way you're going to get 30 gallons for $2. So if we double this one gallon, if we multiply 1 times 30, 1 times 30 to get 30 gallons, then we'd have to multiply $1.50 times 30. And that's going to get us 45. So, in fact, right here, C says 30 gallons is $45. So we know that D can't be correct. 30 gallons can't be for $2. E, $1 to two-thirds gallon. In order to change $3 to $1, we'd have to divide the three dollars by three so let's divide two by three well another way to do two divided by three would be two over three so two-thirds gallon is one dollar number two a caterer needs to buy 21 pounds of pasta to cater a wedding at a local store eight pounds of pasta cost twelve dollars how much will the caterer pay for the pasta there? How much will the caterer pay for pasta? So right now we know it's eight pounds for $12. So I'm gonna divide this by eight and get one. So one pound, divide this by eight, is $1.50. So one pound for $1.50. I'm gonna write that down here for B because they ask us about that. One to $1.50. So a dollar fifty times twenty one pounds. Thirty one dollars and fifty cents. Thirty one dollars and fifty cents. How much will the caterer pay for the pasta there? At that store, the caterer would pay $31.50 for 21 pounds of pasta. A. Write a ratio for the given information about the cost of pasta. One pound for $1.50 or 21 pounds for $31.50. B. Would it be more helpful to write an equivalent ratio with one pound of pasta as one of the numbers or with one dollar as one of the numbers? Explain your reasoning and then write that equivalent ratio. I think that it's more helpful to write the pound as one so that you could multiply the pound times any number. For example, if we needed 21 pounds of pasta, we would just multiply 21 times the price per pound. So 21 times $1.50, and that would get you your answer, which is what we did. C, find the answer and explain or show your reasoning. Well, we already found the answer. The answer is $31.50 
and it's because he's buying 21 pounds for $31.50, which is the same rate as one pound for $1.50. So if one pound costs $1.50, then 21 pounds would cost 31.50. Number three, Lynn is reading a 47 page book. She read the first 20 pages in 35 minutes. 20 pages in 35 minutes. So this is minutes and this is pages. A, if she continues to read at the same rate, will she be able to complete this book in under one hour? So the book has 47 pages. If we doubled the amount that she has already read, which is 20 pages, that would be 40 pages and that would be short of 47, so she wouldn't finish the book yet. And if we doubled 35 minutes, that would be 70 minutes. And 70 minutes is more than one hour. So the answer to A is no. B, if so, how much time will she have left? If not, how much more time is needed? Explain or show your reasoning. Let's see how long it takes you to read one page. One page in one and 15 twentieths which is one divide 15 by 5 is 3 then divide 20 by 5 and that's going to be 4 one and three fourths of a minute that's the same thing as one minute and 7500 so 1 1.75 times 47 this will tell us how many how many minutes. So this will give us the minutes. Five times seven is 35. Seven times seven is 49 plus three is 52. One times seven is seven plus five is 12. Placeholder. Five times four is 20. Seven times four is 28 plus two is 30. One times four is four plus three is seven. Scoot the decimal over twice. So 82.25. So that's 82 and one quarter minutes, which is the same thing as 82 minutes and 15 seconds. 82 minutes and 15 seconds. How much more time is needed? 82.25. And if an hour expired, let's see how much time would be left over that they would still need. Twenty two point two five. So they'd still need twenty two and a quarter minutes needs. Twenty two and a quarter minutes. All the math that I showed was my explanation. Number four. Diego can type 140 words in four minutes. At this rate, how long will it take him to type 385 words? First, I want to figure out how many words Diego can type in one minute. 140 words to four minutes is the same as... See, I divided the 4 by 4 to get 1, so now I need to divide 140 by 4. Thirty-five words a minute. So we need to see how many times 35 goes into 385. 35 words in one minute. Let's try a chart. Thirty-five to one minute. So two minutes is going to be double thirty-five, which is seventy. Because I doubled the two to get four, now I'm going to double seventy to get one forty. If I double the four, I get eight. So that's eight minutes. 140 doubled is 280 and they're asking about 385 let's try to get close to that let's add 70 
to 280 to get 350. And if I added 70 pages, then I need to add two minutes. So two minutes added eight would be 10. And then I think now we could get 385 down here by adding 35. So add 35 to 350 is 385. And we need to add one to 10, that would be 11. So it's gonna take us 11 minutes to type 385 words. So it's gonna be 11 minutes for A. B, how many words can he type in 15 minutes? So if we just kept on doing this, I can add four to 11, and that would give us 15 minutes. And if I'm adding the four to the 11, I need to add the 140 to 385. So 140 plus 385. 525. In 15 minutes, I think he could type 525 words. Number five. A train that travels 30 miles in one third hour at a constant speed is going faster than a train that travels 20 miles in a half hour at a constant speed. Explain or show why. 30 miles in one third hour compared to 20 miles in one half hour. So let's just see what this would be in one hour. So one third multiplied by three gets me to one hour. So I need to multiply 30 times three. 30 times three is 90. Let's make the half into an hour. And I multiplied one half times two to make one hour. So I need to multiply the 20 times two. And 20 times two 40. So the train that travels 30 miles in one third hour can go 90 miles in one hour. And the train that's only going 20 miles in a half hour is just going 40 miles in one hour. Number six, find the surface area of the polyhedron that can be assembled from this net. Show your reasoning. Eight by 12. Eight by 12. And there's two of them. One here and one here. And since they're triangles, it's half of eight by 12. Half of eight by 12. Half of eight by 12. Because there's two of them. Here's a rectangle that's four by 12. 4 by 12. Here's a rectangle that's 4 by 10. 4 by 10. And another rectangle that's 4 by 10. 4 by 10. Forty-eight plus forty-eight, it's ninety-six. Forty plus forty is eighty. Ninety-six plus eighty. Ninety-six plus eighty. One seventy-six. So this is one seventy-six. So we need to add one hundred seventy-six to 48. So the area is 224 inches squared. We added this rectangle, this rectangle, this rectangle, this triangle, and this triangle. And we got the area is 224 inches squared. 
Congratulations! You finished Unit 2, Lesson 14, Solving Equivalent Ratio Problems.